Hello everybody, I'm Spectacular, the Silver Stacular, and you know I've been battling with the United States Mint a little bit with my credit card problems, and I want to say, uh, long story short, mission accomplished. I was able to get these things uh, secured, and uh, they should be shipping to me soon, so that's exciting for me at least. But listen, I want to help others. I know a lot of people are still going through this thing. I've been getting a lot of emails, tons today. I've been getting a lot of comments saying that they're still having problems or that they've been able to get through it and they've got their problems figured out. But I want to help everybody out with uh, basically what I've found out and what uh, what we can do different to try to try to help us through this process if we're still having problems. Also, some good news and then some bad news and good news will be in this in this video. So listen up for that. Um, here we go. Let's get into what happened to me today, and then I'll kind of help others with my situation if it happened to them. We're going to get into it. First thing I did this morning is, um, well, the United States Mint, right? It's open seven days a week. It starts to, from 8 a.m. to midnight Eastern time. So you have a long time throughout the day to give them a call. I would recommend calling at the very start of the day, right? Because you want to go ahead and get, uh, well, what do they say? The early bird catches the worm. Be that early bird. You want the worm real bad, right? So call early, and that was successful to me because about 9.30 or so, I was able to, after about a few busy busy signals um, when I you know, called up there, uh, about the fifth time, maybe sixth time, I forget exactly when it was, but I was able to finally get through, and um, it doesn't really matter so much which option you choose. Um, they're going to give you a call back ultimately. That's what you want. You want to go ahead and get a call back. If you sit there on hold, you're going to feel just absolutely miserable for maybe an hour plus, two hours, who knows how long, right? You, the ultimate goal is to try to um, get them to call you back. I used option zero. Other people are using different options. Hey, whatever works for you, go ahead. I used option zero, which is you want to talk to a representative or a customer service agent. Um, and then after that, they end up saying, if you get through, they end up saying that they're going to give you a call back at your number. You press one to accept that and you get a call back. So um, I got tired of waiting, to be honest with you. It was like two and a half hours. And I was like, oh, man, I just, I just can't sit around all day. So we ended up going to the mall and the mall, there was like no service. So as soon as I left, I see there's a voicemail and I'm like, son of a gun. And sure enough, it was the United States Mint saying, hey, you know, we missed your call, tried to call you, give us a call back at the regular number and do the whole process again. And I was like, shucks, that's pretty miserable. What timing that was. But, uh, you know, I had to do something with the family. I had the day off. I have to do something, right? I can't just sit around all day and hope I get a coin. Uh, but some people can. But listen, so uh, a little frustrated at that point. I was like, well, what am I going to do now? So I tried to call about three or four more times. Every single time it was busy. And uh, literally the last time I called, and because if I called any more than that, I'd just be harassing them, right? The last time I called, I got that same little, hey, do you want us to give you a call back? And I said, please, you know, press that number one button. Got the call back eventually about four and a half hours later. I was actually very surprised. Almost went into another shop um, that may, have, may, may or may not have service in there. So luckily uh, it was just in the parking lot. I got the call and um, the customer uh, service um, lady was super nice, uh, helpful, no problems. They have you put your credit card in in a secure line when you're on the uh, the phone with them. I guess they don't want the customer service agent to know your credit card number and hey, I'm okay with that, whatever, whatever they want to do. But I was able to get that one order fixed. And now this is where some advice comes in. And <clears throat> luckily I was thinking a little bit at that moment, but I said, uh, hey, I got two other orders because there was two other dates, three dates total, when these coins were released, um, the same credit card that had stolen information would have been on order number two and order number three. Can I fix those while I'm here? And uh, she said, hey, uh, give me the order numbers. And I'm like, whoa, like that's gonna be miserable to be on the phone, try to look through my phone's email and try to find those order numbers. I said, is there any way 
that you can just go ahead and look up my order number because they verify. They verify your name, your address, your phone number, and everything so that they know that you are who is on the phone. So I said, is there any way you can just look it up for me while you're on there? You know, politely I said that. And uh, she's like, let me see. And she was able to find the other order numbers. And I had to go through that process separately with those other two um, order numbers. So uh, she had to put me on hold. I had to put my credit card information in. And then, you know, boom, went to the next one. Same thing. Hold, credit card information in. And I was able to get it all worked out. I looked at my credit card statement today. And those charges are on there from the United States Mint. So, uh, hey, I think I'm good now. I should be good. I would imagine in a few days I probably get some uh, notification that they're shipping out. So, mission accomplished, and uh, thanks to the United States Mint. But that is some advice to you. If you've ordered all three of these coins and your credit card was expired, uh, stolen, whatever the case may be, wrong information put in, and uh, you need to get all of those orders figured out. Keep them on the line because you finally got them to talk to you. Keep them on the line and make sure that everything is squared away because you don't want to be doing this two more times. So that was that. I will say that on Saturday, it seemed like the phones were a little bit better. And uh, <clears throat> I even wished the uh, the lady on the phone, I said, good luck. I know you're going to be miserable trying to do all this. And she goes, yeah, it's been very busy. But, uh, you know, Sunday, you have another availability. Um, Monday, Tuesday, again, seven days a week, 8 a.m. to midnight Eastern time. They're open. Try to do it as early as possible. Now, I know the email says 48 hours. I'm getting some feedback from uh, some people in the community saying that it's been over 48 hours and they were still able to secure their coins. So a little uh, faith on your part and a little hope. And I think that hopefully <laughs> they're not going to cancel it just after 48 hours automatically. I think that the United States men put that email out um, originally, didn't really understand what was going to happen. You know what I mean? I think that they should have maybe put like a, a little less urgency on the email to to help people feel a little bit more at ease. Um, but I know it frustrated a lot of people, this whole process. And uh, a lot of emails and a lot of comments on my last video are saying that, um, that people got their coins, that they're good. But then almost as many, if not maybe even more emails and comments from people that are frustrated, that aren't getting their coins, um, a percentage of those are just giving up. They're just done trying. It's just, you know, ruining their, their day. They don't have enough time to mess with these things. And I get it. I feel for those people. Um, I will say there is some good news here amongst that bad news. And sorry if you are giving up on it. Sorry if it's not going to work out, if you're just, you just can't get through on the phone. But um, you or other people watching that were not able to get these coins because the release was pretty hot... Uh, there may be a chance later down the road after all these are shipped out and they, you know, have the coins left over that these will be on the website, unitedstatesmint.gov, um, again, for you to pick up. So, you know, there's some hope there for people that didn't get the coin, uh, that these will, will probably <laughs> most certainly have to go back on the website because there's going to be a lot of orders that didn't get placed. So that's that, um, NGC. I've seen that is offering a special label uh, for this. So um, if you are going to put them out to get graded, NGC's label looks pretty good. Um, I'll show you a picture of that right here, what theirs looks like. So you may want to go that route. Um, that label, I believe, um, is, you know, of course, you have to pay to have the coin graded. But that special label is free. And then, uh, you know, depending on when you get those into them, you might want to do the early release or whatever case may be, uh, first strike, whatever it is. Um, that, you know, is a little upcharge right there. But anyways, just want to bring that up. Um, yeah, I appreciate all the emails um, and comments uh, offering to share their coins with me. I never wanted that. My I idea was that if I did not get these coins, uh, the ones that my wife actually had ordered, um, for me, uh, I, I probably would have just gone ahead and got one Morgan, one piece dollar total and been done with the whole thing. But, uh, literally, man, the last time I tried, I was able to get through and get my original coin. So I'm happy enough with that. I'm going to go ahead and go along with that. Am I going to get them graded? Uh, it's, I'm kind of leaning towards yes on that. Uh, I, I would like to get some seventies. And I think if I just go ahead and put all the coins out for grading that hopefully I get at least one or two seventies. You know, um, I mean, it's a, you know, a brand new bullion coin, basically. It should be perfect almost every single time, in my opinion, but you know how that goes. Anyways, so 
uh, that's kind of my, my plans right now. And of course, I'm still you know, assuming that I'm going to get these things shipped to me. A lot of people out there still struggling. I would say that just keep trying. Um, try. You want to get that call back. You, you have them call you back. That's what you are looking for. That, that'll help you out. I've also heard that some people use the, uh, the live chat um, on the actual website, usmint.gov, and there's a live chat option on there. And on there, you can ask them to have a representative call you back via your phone number that you put in. So that might be another way for you to sneak on in there. But uh, yeah, again, open seven days a week, 8 a.m. to midnight Eastern time. So you have a lot of time to try to get this done. Stay positive, and I hope you get yours. And uh, again, thank you for everybody that out there that was uh, willing to share with me. Again, I didn't want that, but they were plenty of people offering and uh, thumbs up to the community. You guys are awesome. Uh, there might be other people out there that are going to need your help here in the coming days. So uh, if you have extra coins, you might consider sharing with them. <laughs> Anyways, I got to go for now. Uh, that's just, you know, my, my rant on the topic. Um, again, U.S. Mint was plenty friendly enough. They were helpful once I finally got through to them. Um, I think this whole thing is of course, very new to the United States meant what they had to do with the holding off on the release of the coin, um, these emails, uh, people's credit card getting messed up because it was such a long gap, you know, between when you order them versus when they're actually going to be delivered and um, actually charged on your card. So there's a lot of things going on that I don't think anybody could have could have prepared for. It was kind of kind of crazy, but uh, it seems like it's slowly you know, working out in a positive way. Hopefully, hopefully everybody's going to be positive after this, but I know a lot of people are frustrated with the United States Mint. Try to stay positive. Try to get these things in your possession if you can. They are going to be cool coins. People are going to want them. They're going to be iconic. They're going to get new collectors into the, the hobby, and they're also going to get old collectors back in too, I believe. Anyways, I got to go for now. Spectacular is out. Yeah.